Well, I was glad to hear that, Secretary Johnson. I agreed with President Bush when he signed the 2008 law. I think it speaks to our uh, moral values as a country. Uh, just as we don't tell Jordan because they can, uh, they're being overwhelmed with uh, refugees, you know, just send them back to uh, Syria to be, be killed. We have to set some examples ourselves in following our law is a good way to start. Uh, I get, on the way over, I, I was stopped by somebody in the press who said it heard from a Republican member of the House that we're not doing enough on, we should be changing our immigration laws. I remind them that we came together, Republicans and Democrats, in this body last year, a year ago. And after weeks of, of work in the Judiciary <clears throat> Committee and markups in, way into the evening, and then a long debate on the floor with a, in all 150, 160 amendments, we passed an immigration law with both Republicans and Democrats voting for it. Uh, the Republican leadership in the in the House. I don't mean to sound partisan, but I'm tired of the sniping that we don't have a better immigration law. They won't bring up anything. It's a lot easier to snipe than to actually have to vote. If you have to vote yes or you have to vote no, you're on record. It's much easier to vote maybe and, uh, and complain that it's somebody else's problem. Well, they get paid the same as I do. They ought to pass a law. Now... I don't believe that, um, well, first I agree with you, you said in your testimony, our board is not open to illegal immigration, and I agree with you on that. But I, and I don't believe that all these children qualify for immigration protection, but some do, and our laws protect them. The United Nations High Commissioner of Human Rights has found that more than 50% of these children have been forcibly displaced from their home countries, fleeing gang violence, rape, domestic violence, and human trafficking. Uh, the distinguished senior senator from California worked hard on this law. Uh, the Trafficking Protections Victim Act says that the children arriving from Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras, kids who are fleeing extreme violence, violence is killing seven-year-old children, as the New York Times reports today, should be interviewed by child welfare specialists and have an opportunity to tell their story to a judge. That's how we identify victims of trafficking, sexual violence, and persecution. I just want to know, I, I'm willing to help. I know a couple, uh, Secretary, she had a couple of hours before the president, or two, three hours before the pres uh, vice president arrived down in Guatemala. I know your planning was way ahead so that he could announce some money, and I think it was two or three hours before his plane landed, they were calling me to see if we could reprogram the money. We may want to look a little bit further ahead than that, but I can assure you that I will fight tooth and nail changes in the, um, uh, in the Trafficking Vi uh, Victims Protection Act. We have to do the right thing. We can work. We can work with you. We should work with you. We will help you. Uh, but when you have a eight or nine year old girl who's being raped by uh, gangs that are sending them up here or, or they're being sent by their parents to escape that kind of violence, uh, I'm not sure Americans all really feel that we should immediately uh, send them back. We routinely ask these other countries uh, to support refugees fleeing violence, well, let's uphold our own law and tell us specifically how we do that, and then we'll look for the, uh, the funding in a long-range plan. In the meantime, I hope the other body will pass an immigration law. Anybody want to respond? Um, I, I do, Senator. Um, I have Just a letter, asking. In, in my 27 seconds, I have a letter uh, written by a number of senators, including senators on this committee, and there's a sentence in the first paragraph that I absolutely agree with. Um, we strongly believe that in responding to this humanitarian crisis, we, we must not set aside our fundamental commitments as a nation. And that 
statement is the bedrock of my public service, whether I'm Secretary of Homeland Security or General Counsel of the Defense Department. In dealing with this or responding to a terrorist attack, um, we should not jettison the law, we should not bend the law, and we should not set aside our values. And it's in times like this when adherence to our laws and principles, that I, in my view, um, is, is most important. I'm very familiar with that letter, as you know. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, 